However, there was one anime that it's not so much glory, but it's super fan service, and that is Chris Blake. So if you know what that anime is, it's based on a tabletop dice game, I say. That's from my understanding. It has different artists, and the main character, they're the female. Sadly, the artist is the same person who did My Hime. That was sort of a good anime, but Chris Blade, anime-wise, no, because it's just, technically it's just fan service left and right to Kingdom Come. It, it is what it is. The story lacks, it's, it's not that good. They're wearing, well, sexy armor, so you gotta understand there. And let's just say that this first episode actually, well, it already has some fan service, including boobies. Yes, boobies. So I'm gonna a bit of a spoiler here. If you want to see some fan service, it, this is the way beginning. All it said. So of course the main character, I forget her name, and it's not gonna be memorable. Is she just journey? She wanted to go on a journey, and then there was another sexy lady who was trying to fight her, and then. She's trying to be brave, and of course, all she's just wearing is panties and a One Piece shirt, and throughout the battle, and she ripped it off, and of course, I guess I'm going to assume it's in that timeline, in that fantasy world, bras haven't been invented yet, so you can't see her flashing movies, so you get an idea what I'm trying to say here. So anyway, that's the first episode, to some extent. A lot of fan service, violence, gore, not so much, and it is rated TVMA. So, again, remember, kind of like rated R, it's all about extreme violence and full nudity. That's the same category of a rated R movie, or in case of TV show, TVMA to some extent. And yeah, I mean, I did watch the series, like I said, I would not recommend it, trust me. And I like fan service. Especially in Neptunia games, Idea Factory games, but when it came to this one, the fan service is top notch, it's five stars, but story wise, it's a two star. Just saying that.